welcome back to the channel what's going on guys in case you've been living under a rock the avengers game by crystal dynamics has been at gamescom and ign and a few other places have been reporting a lot of new details coming out of that first and foremost they finally revealed the gameplay demo kind of that went along with the trailer um, it was a scripted one that went along with the trailer that they showed behind closed doors at E3 to people who were sworn to secrecy. Although we did get a very um, unclean phone camera by somebody who was being a little naughty. Um, but we were actually finally able to fully see what they saw and it looks really good. It looks fantastic and in different context, it sounds even better. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna have it playing on the screen and I'll leave a description below. <clears throat> but here's some of the things that IG uncovered that they sat down and talked to. Some of the things that they that they covered, they sat down and talked to uh, one of the developers about. And here's a few of the things that he said. So first and foremost, guys, if you know me, one of the big things I talk about with games that have longevity and that really pe people's attention and keep it for a long period of time is customization. Customization is huge, it's key, especially in games today. Um, games that don't have a lot of customization usually fall flat. Now, generally nowadays, customization also means a lot of monetization, but it doesn't always have to be that way. So with this game, it seems that they are throwing a lot of customization in, in particular, with your skills so you level up as you go you earn skill points and there's a skill tree where you can earn different skills and you can mix and match and make your character unique to you that was one of the big things they kept emphasizing is that my iron man or my hulk or black widow or whoever should be different than yours so you might make a thor that's more tanky and i might have one that has more range or more right in your face uh and deal in damage also, another big thing they that they threw in there, which is a huge thing for me, especially if you've seen me rant and rave about how aggravating it is that Ultimate Alliance 3 screwed the pooch on this, is costumes. Costumes, it seems they will have very many, a lot to choose from, and they said that a lot of them will be free. They're gonna, everything's gonna be free DLC-wise that they add, but they will have cosmetic things that you can purchase um in the store later on so probably different costumes ones that won't be free and those will probably be the more unique ones but as far as customization goes that's all they've said so far it did kind of sound like maybe there might be a little something else like who knows maybe like an xp booster and i'm sure that'll get people riled up but we don't know that's just speculation uh, other than that they didn't really say anything Another thing they really hit on was how this game should be more um, dynamic as far as replayability. And this is one thing that I really talk on with a lot of games, and I get criticized sometimes for, for saying things like this, uh, is that games nowadays that don't have replayability usually don't do well. Now, people hate hearing that because there's a lot of people who are huge single player fans. I love single player games. I love the Spider-Man game. That Spider-Man PL on PS4 is probably one of my favorite games along with God of War and look at how well those games did Point being not every game is that and after you beat those games Usually people go back to a multiplayer game about a royale something that has a replayability style because it has multiplayer and online This is gonna have a multiplayer system with co-op and these war zone missions where you can run and get loot in particular uh something i was fixing to talk about is gear sets so there will be gear sets and similar like in destiny and anthem and other games that are going to be similar to this with live services and things of that nature with in-game activities uh they will have a they didn't say exactly how many there will be but he did say a common uncommon I believe rare legendary and then he said a few after that and they will all have different perks and so based on your level and based on the activities 
we could be the same level, but we could have different gear that has different perks, which I'm sure that gear probably changes the visual look of you as well. Or at least I would hope. I like when games do that. It seems kind of silly that I would put on this different gear set and it doesn't change my visual look. So um, that is one thing that seems really cool. That gives it replayability as well as what I stated previously, Warzone missions. These Warzone missions, we I didn't see any kind of context. Now, a lot of people were there to play it and they were there to play more than just the tutorial prologue miss mission, which if I didn't state before, that is exactly what this this trailer or this demo was is just a prologue mission for you to be able to play all the characters and get familiar with them and see how each one plays differently which is really cool that's what we all expected that's what we all figured now again on these warzone missions there wasn't a lot that was said except for the fact that after you complete i believe the main story or hero mode i guess is what they were saying um these warzone missions are basically like your in-game activities and they'll probably add more and more different maybe even different kinds of missions i'm almost positive they will it would seem silly just to have one kind of uh mode to play over and over again but this will also expand the world the universe um and make it larger and larger and lead you to different areas of the map and different locations and things to that nature now that brings upon the next topic is, is it an open world? No, it is not considered technically an open world. It is considered an expansive world uh, that is growing larger and larger as the game goes on, which falls right along with what I just stated with the Warzone missions. The world will grow larger and larger as you continue to progress through the game and as you unlock new missions and they add new missions so they did state that well they didn't exactly state it but um i don't know what the uh idea is for how many heroes there will be now you will have your basic four heroes to start but they didn't say if the, I, they kind of said that after you beat the game, there'll be more heroes and costumes and things of like that to unlock. So I'm not sure if it will release with heroes that you'll unlock after you complete the game, the main game, and you progress through these war zone and whatever other activities they have in there. But they will be adding them all free. They will be adding them all free so that everyone is able to play with the same heroes or rather um, so that everyone has the option to play as every hero that's available as opposed to, well, I paid for Doctor Strange, so now I get Doctor Strange, but you still got the basic four guys or also play, paid for Black Panther, so I get Black Panther and you don't get them. So uh, everyone will be able, it will all be free, which is really cool. Um, I don't like games that fracture the player base by making us pay um, for separate DLCs the way Call of Duty has done for years and they're finally going away from that with the new Call of Duty game which will be in another video but uh, the last thing that I really saw that um, that they mentioned was um, that the main villain is aim and they did say that this story is entirely its own because you do see taskmaster in there and they do ask a question about how taskmaster was in the spider-man ps4 game and obviously this is entirely of its own it is entirely separate it's its own universe it's its own unique story now they did draw inspiration from the comics and other source material but it is entirely on its own which is something that most games or all games really that um go with that work with marvel in close proximity marvel tries to make sure that even though some of it may be similar to things you see in comics or movies it is not canon it is something that's entirely its own that's something they usually do really good about and I really like that. So 
that that was probably the the last thing that I saw and uh, basically guys with the gameplay you can see it for yourself as you watch it by the way it's just you know it's your basic uh, light attack heavy attack special abilities I think there was an L one or I'm sorry if you, it looks like they were playing on Xbox maybe I don't know maybe it was PlayStation. I didn't see enough but it was basically your trigger so your L2 R2 I would assume or your left and right trigger if you're on Xbox and then there was one in the middle which seemed like more like an ultimate ability but it wasn't unlocked so they did have different animations they did have different animations everything wasn't the same animation which is really cool um, the Hulk grabbed someone slammed them and I think he punched them on one and then screamed and then right after that he grabbed someone slammed them and stomped on their chest so it did seem like there was uh, wasn't just one animation for this one move and he just keeps doing the same thing over and over again so it did seem like there was a little bit of uh, mixing and matching so that is pretty cool I really like that um, that's something that I can appreciate from from a standpoint of understanding that obviously it's impossible to not run into some of the same animations but it's cool how they at least are trying to add as many as possible anyways guys that's it for now that's all that we've seen or at least that i was able to watch and listen to um if there is anything new i will make sure that i make a video about it as quickly as possible guys um i'm on my days off right now so I'm going to crank out a few videos probably tonight and the next few days. And I will be streaming on Mixer, guys. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, if you want to see me play these games live, guys, and have a discussion about it live, feel free to jump into my Mixer channel, mixer.com slash rage underscore 64. I will have the link down in the description, guys. Feel free to follow. It's free. And I hope you had a good time, guys. Let's talk about it in the comments. If you have anything you want to talk about, say uh, questions, let me know. And thank you so much, guys. I will see you on the next video.